Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rawabnu majata fi sunanihi Qala haddathana Nasr ibn Ali Al-Jahdami Haddathana Sahl ibn Yusuf Haddathana Humayd An Anas ibn Malik Radiyallahu anhu Qala su'ila anil qunuti Fi salati subh فقال كنا نقنت قبل الركوع وبعد It was narrated that Anas bin Malik رضي الله عنه was asked about kunut in the subh prayer and he said we used to recite kunut before ruku and afterwards this hadith is in Ibn Majata. Al-Qunutu bita la bitwa. Al-Qunutu bitwa i al-yas. Wa man yaqnatu min rahmati rabbihi illa al-dwalu. But al-Qunut bita mamduh in the Quran. Hafidhu ala salawat wa salati al-wustah. والصلاة الوسطى وقوموا لله قانتين إن المسلمين والمسلمات إلى قوله تعالى والقانتين والقانتات قانت أناء ليل ساجدا وقائما وإن وان همبلس وان سلف بفور الله that's known as قنوت there is a particular dua that is known as dua القنوت and the scholars they have difference whether this kunut is to be performed during witri prayer or during subh prayer. In the madhab of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and the madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa, kunut is to be performed in al witr in Al-Witr because of the dua of the hadith the, uh, that is narrated in Sahih Muslim that the Prophet Sallallahu performed the Qunut during a month against a Hayy min Ahya al-Arab then he abandoned it but this was a dua against that particular Hayy that showed an enmity to Islam and to Muslims. As, as for Imam Malik and Imam Shafi'i rahmatullahi alayhi, they all agree that Qunud in Salatul Subh is Sunnah. Because of the hadith of Sayyidina Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said, Ma zala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqnutu fi al-fajri hatta faraqa al-dunya. And this hadith is narrated, it is in Musnad al-Imam Al 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 Ahmad himself. That Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never stopped performing qunud until he left this dunya. And Umar radiyallahu anhu used to perform qunud in subh. Bi mahdharin min al-sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum. And this was also narrated that uh, Sayyidina Ali and Ibn Mas'ud, they were all did it as well. And for those who uh, say that Qunut is to be performed in Witr, there is a dua that Sayyidina Hassan radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught him to say it during Witr prayer. And that dua, most of you or all of you, you may have known, Allahumma hadini fi man hadayt, wa aafini fi man aafayt, wa tawallani fi man tawallayt, wa barigli fi ma aatayt, wa qini sharra ma qadayt, inna ka taqadhi wa la yuqadha alayk, wa inna hu la yadhillu man walayt, wa la ya'izzu man aadayt, tabarakta rabbana wa ta'alayt, wa ta'alayt. The hadith is in Abu Dawud and Tirmidhi. And there is a dua of Qunud that Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu 
used to say in Subh prayer, and that is Allahumma inna nasta'inuka wa nasta'hdika wa nasta'abiruka wa nu'minu bika wa natawakkalu alik wa nuthni alayka al-khayra kullah nashkuruka wa la nakfuruka wa nakhlu'u wa naturuku man yahjuruk Allahumma iyaka na'budu wa laka nusalli wa nasjud wa ilayka nas'a wa nahfid نرجو رحمتك ونخشى عذابك إن عذابك الجد بالكافرين ملحق اللهم عذب الكفار أهل الكتاب الذين يصدون عن سبيلك. This hadith was narrated by Imam Abu Rizq in his Musannaf in Al Imam Al Bayhaqi في شهاب في شهاب الإيمان. And this is the قنوت الصيغة that the Maliki use when they do Qunut in in Subh and there is another Sira they use Allahumma inna nasta'inuka wa nasta'abiruka wa nu'minu bika wa natawakkalu alik wa nakhda'u laka wa nakhla' or wa nakhna'u laka wa nakhla' wa natruk man yakfuruk and they also put wa nuthni alika al-khayra kullahu nashkuruka wa la nakfuruk wa natruk man yakfuruk then Allahumma iyaka na'bud wa laka nusalli wa nasjud wa ilayka nas'a wa nahfid narju rahmataka wa nakhafu athabaka al-jid inna athabaka bil kafirina mulhaq some say bil kufari mulhaq this also is very close to the seerah that we just read from Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala anhu so this is the sunnah of qunud and they, the scholars, they have different whether it is to be performed before Ruku' or after Ruku' Sayyidina Anas in this hadith said they used to do it before or after the Maliki Madhab they prefer that it is done before Ruku' because Qunut also means Qulul Qiyam Fil Ibadah to extend the time of standing before Allah in worship and one of the reasons why they want the qunu to be performed before ruku' is for one who was late to catch the imam. Because if it is done after ruku', then the one who is late, he can come, but he misses the, the raka'ah. But if it is done after also, it is good as we can see in this hadith of Sayyidina Anas radiyallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala anhu was asked about Qunut and he said that they used to do it before Ruku' and after Ruku' in Salat Subh. So, إِلَىٰ أَنَسٌ عَنِ الْقُنُوتِ فِي صَلَاتِ الصُّبْحِ فَقَالَ كُنَّا نَقْنُوتُ قَبْلَ الْرُكُوعِ وَبَعْدَهُ This hadith is in Ibn Majah. Ask Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala to grant us tawfiq mm. of worshipping him as he is supposed to be worshipped. Mm. And we are asking him to accept our prayers and our da'wat. The janaza of brother who, uh, the brother I uh, told you the past would be inshallah today a dhuhr prayer in Long Island. Uh, anyone, inshallah, who want to go, I have the address. If you cannot uh, make it there, please include him in your dua. Alhamdulillah, he was a beautiful person yesterday. We had a Zoom uh, meeting, but everyone from different, so many different communities joined the meeting, and people recited Quran for him in different places. That shows how important to do for the sake of Allah. And he was behind the scenes. You know, you wouldn't see him all the time, you know, in front of people. But there is no community that I know in New York or even outside New York in New Jersey, whether they are Arabs or non-Arabs, Pakistani or Bengali, except that they believe that this person belonged to them. That's who he was. He was a community person, a unity person. Many are the boards 
that uh, had problem, boards of directors of Masajid, he would go there to put them back together. I never heard him say a harsh word, never. Or talking about a person of, you know, ill of an, about a person. I never heard that. And you never see him except that the first thing you see is his, you know, smile. And he, lo he knew how to touch people's heart. Whenever you talk to him, you feel you are the most important person in life. That's who he was. His name was Mustafa Senghor. Please include him in your dua. May Allah forgive him and have mercy on him. بمجاورة مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم بلا سابق عقاب ولا حساب ولا مشقة واحشرنا معه ومع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في تلك الزمرة الشريفة العالية الغالية في مقعد صدق عند مليك مقتد الرحمن هذا وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم آمين وإياكم سيدي جزاكم الله خير Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel.